Yo, what is good, Rice Ball Gang? It's your boy, Lil Cheat. Today, I'm joined with Hasten once again. Gang! Today, we have a very interesting video. We're going to be going over the glorious women of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Before we get into this video, if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Become a part of the Rice Ball Gang today. Check out my boy Hasten, links down below. But let's just hop into it. So obviously all of them are jumbled up. And first off, we got my favorite girl from part four, Rimi. Isn't her last name Sagamoto or something? I don't know, I probably got it wrong. But you know, she's quality waifu material. Mm -hmm. got that short pink hair she is one of the hottest girls in jojo's when i first saw her i was like god damn god damn and you found out she was dead and you were like ah ha ha i mean that girl gotta need some loving too man <laughs> i don't i don't know i honestly don't know where to rank her because i definitely think she's up there look wise she really wasn't that active in the show but she was at the same time because the plot kind of revolved around her yeah she's the reason and they found out about Kita. So Kita would have kept on killing people. And yeah. she's fucking fine. Damn, but it's it's hard. I don't I don't know if I want to straight up put her in goddess right away, but So it is your tier list, so you have the final say, obviously. But if it was me, that's going to the goddess. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, okay, okay. Um we could throw her at A and C later if you want to throw up the goddess. I I don't know, bro. I'm feeling goddess because she she's probably one of the most attractive females out of jojo's yeah i i would agree so goddess goddess yeah hell yeah i we're starting off strong we're starting right. off strong let me take this one okay we got this bubblegum dum dum <laughs> <laughs> so she tried to seduce my boy paul nerf at the same time while killing or attempting to kill my favorite fucking jojo <laughs> And she's a nasty ass, ugly ass, fat bitch who does not deserve to be on this tier list. Oh yeah, obviously I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you've seen JoJo's. Her true form is ugly as shit. It's literally like depicting majority of the girls nowadays, you know? <laughs> she got the looks on the outside, but in the inside, that bitch rang! <laughs> that bitch rang! So... I'm gonna have to put that bitch at the trash tier. Hell she, yeah. She's trash, bro. I did laugh a lot when she like exploded in like <laughs> a bunch of guts in front of Paul and Arif, but that's not get that's not saving her ass from trash tier though. I'm sorry. So next up, we got Arena Joe Star. Obviously, this is where JoJo's starts. The lineage started from all the characters, or I should say Joe Stars, that we all know and love. So for looks wise. Yeah. You gotta give her credit because she gave birth to Joseph's dad that ended up creating the beautiful man himself, Joseph Joestar. <laughs> her looks are lacking. I would probably put her at A tier. I don't think she's goddess, but she's definitely A tier. I would have said B. I would have said B because goddess is like the best, right? Yeah. A is like second to best and B is like neutral. And then C okay. is below neutral and then trash is like the worst of the worst. Yeah, yeah. So I would say B. Okay, yeah. Because I don't love her, don't hate her. I'm just like neutral with her. I do like what you said with the B, right smack dab in the middle, neutral. We don't hate, we don't absolutely love her. We're just neutral. So you know what? Throw throw her at that B. Oh, I don't remember Cinderella too much, but she got a nice record. Her hair was weird. I really don't remember Cinderella that much. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. She had like one, two episodes, and then Kira vibe checked her. She didn't pass the vibe check. Boom, boom, clap, out. <laughs> so I don't really have an opinion on her because I don't really remember her. I just know she got a nice rack. So for Cinderella, she ended up being good. You know, there's that kind of, I guess, filler episode where her and Yukako had like that interaction because Yukako wanted Koichi to herself and for him to notice her. But did she really add anything to the story? Nah. Is she trash? I don't think so. She didn't really progress the story really in any way. So 
I'm thinking a C. Next up, we got the beautiful creature himself. The star of part four. Okay, so we got my boy, Okiasu's dad, or I should say, the green blob they let walk around in the middle of broad daylight. He's like a pet. He is like a pet. <laughs> because when you first meet him, he's like, in a freaking corner. When you get to see him later, it's, it's really sad because Dio, Dio literally his life up. And it's sad because he has like very faint memory because remember when he opens up the chest, he sees the picture of like the whole family and stuff. He's like, Woo! Yeah, yeah, he's like, he starts crying or something. Yeah, that's like really sad. <laughs> but that thing is ugly as shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's a very beautiful but ugly thing ugly thing i don't hate him he's not a goddess <laughs> i'm thinking a but i don't want to put him above uh, arena <laughs> neutral c <laughs> ah, i'll put him at neutral i'm thinking neutral <laughs> i mean he is kind of irrelevant but i feel like he has more relevancy than cinderella <laughs> Next up, we got Jotaro's mom, Holly, who was so mentally weak that she could not control her own stand. <laughs> but somebody like Shigechi, <laughs> Shigechi, can control his stand. That man is mentally weak. <laughs> She was the start of all of part three. I like, guess the reason why they had to go kill Dio, because if Dio just came back, you know, it would have been that big of a deal. But they really had to because Jotaro's mom was going to die because of Dio. So, which made us find Avdol and Paul and Nerif and Iggy and Kakyoin. All right, this is my thought process. Jotaro is like, I don't know if he's my favorite Jostar, but he's definitely... He's definitely up there. He's one of my favorite. I mean, no disrespect to his mother. And I'm not trying to say she's clappable or anything like that. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to say that. She is the mother of Jotaro Kujo. The badass motherfucker himself that almost got killed by a rat. <laughs> which is still stupid till this day. But we're not going to get into that. I'm thinking A. Not based on looks. Not anything attractive wise. Kakyoin and Jotaro's ball. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't, still don't get that meme. But <laughs> I'm thinking A. Just because she gave birth to Jotaro. I agree. I agree. And she she's not ugly. All right. Next up. You're not really completely qualified. But can still give your opinions, obviously. Okay. But because I've seen all part five, but you have not. I think, I mean, she's. And this was written a long time ago. So she's. She does have that the drip, the nice fit with the math equations for some reason. She got her titties out a lot for some reason. You know, not too big, but a nice handful. Probably getting roasted by the feminist, but that's okay. She got the choker on, kind of edgy. I like it. And her stand, you, you haven't seen her stand, but you know she's a stand user. Yes. Her stand is pretty cool. It's very unique. I've never seen anything like it before. I would throw her at a solid A, but your thoughts because for what you've seen so far. Because all you've seen her do is just be like a pompous bitch and just ask for mineral water yeah <laughs> obviously i don't feel like i should give a full opinion on trish because like hasten said i don't really know her all i've really seen was her be a damn bitch she's like <laughs> i want some motherfucking prada i want some motherfucking <laughs> mineral water i want a motherfucking makeup palette with some vegetables and because my hair is built like a fucking hairball that's pink <laughs> and she just sits there and she does have a stand. I don't know what the hell it's like yet. I don't know. I I don't feel like I should be able to rank her. So I'm just going to I'm just going to let you rank her because All I right. cannot give a full opinion yet. I'll throw her at A cuz I I'm not like I like her more than neutral. Yeah. She deserves to go above green blob boy, I think. Moving on. We have the most beautiful pussy. <laughs> I gotta fucking go. We have the most beautiful pussy known to mankind. And that, my friends, is cat plant. It's even a vegan. It photosynthesizes because it is a plant. It is a cat plant, also known as a pussy plant. I gotta go, Chief. In the beginning, I liked my boy. He was very interesting. It was interesting seeing a actual creature <laughs> as a stand user. Why are there so many weird creatures in part four? <laughs> Cat plant, Okiasu's dad, Shigechi? <laughs> they're not human, they're creatures. <laughs> He's not Shigechi as creatures. <laughs> well, you should be referring to Shigechi as Ash. <laughs> I guess Kida's roadkill then. <laughs> 
Anyway, I have a love-hate relationship with Catplant because, I mean, he was used against the boys when they were fighting Kira, but that was out of his own will because he was technically trying to protect himself. But in the end, Catplant came in clutch. Hell yeah. And he's a very kawaii little creature. It's interesting because his little balls are just like projectiles of Okiyasu's hand. And also too, the most innocent thing I remember seeing in part four was Okiyasu's dad holding cat plants. <laughs> It was like a whole nice little family photo at the end. <laughs> now, cat plant, this pussy ain't no goddess. <laughs> Is it an A? No, it ain't got no ass. It's just a damn pussy. <laughs> Is it a C? It survived. It was more useful than Cinderella. So we're going to put it at a B. I, I, I think cat plant is pretty neutral. Next up, we have probably the worst piece of trash in part three. Not saying something in ya. The fucking bag hag who goes in trash. Enough said. She's ugly. She's a creature. She's more of a creature than she gets she is. And her fuck ass son killed Paul and Aerith's sister. There's no way, shape, or form she ain't attractive. <laughs> that bitch too old. She wrinkly. She stankly. She stankly? I don't even know what stankly means, but that bitch belongs in the damn garbo. <laughs> we got my girl, Lisa Lisa. You look so happy about that. <laughs> Bro, Lisa Lisa. I wish I didn't have to hear that in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Lisa Lisa, she got it all, bro. She got the looks, she got the rack. She's pretty goddamn strong. She also gave birth to the one and only Joseph Joestar. No disrespect to that man, but Lisa Lisa. Oh, dude, this is hard. She's definitely higher than B. I'm, it's between Goddess and A right now. What, what are you thinking? You know, she's really the first waifu in JoJo's. Lisa, and she's so hot. Then you see like the backstory of like, she's actually Joseph's mom and she's like 50 years old. You're like, what the fuck? I'd still clap. Goddess? Goddess. That's what I'd say. Throw her back, Goddess. Yeah. Throw it up. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Next up, we have Josuke's mom. The one night stand. Joseph, I don't know if you drank too much sake when you're in Japan, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, bro. You you created Boot Boy. But I, I actually like Josuke. Josuke's mom, she just looks like weird i don't know what it is to me she kind of looks bitchy a little bit yeah like she didn't really do much at all but give birth to josuke and get mad at him for playing games and she got kidnapped in my honest opinion i'm thinking c because i don't think she's trash you know she's definitely not trash you don't dislike her but it's just like she's definitely not above my boy cat plan for sure oh yeah 100 <laughs> percent and definitely not above arena jesus christ so c c I'm I'm thinking C. C is pretty fair. I can agree with that. Moving on, we have the young version of Suzy Q. What are your thoughts on Suzy Q? Young Suzy Q kind of had me weep. She came back in the, to the funeral with Joseph. I was like, damn, who is this fine bitch? I was like, she kind of hot. I mean, she just, she just my type, dude. If it was my tier list, I'd throw up at that A. Young Suzy Q could get the I cannot get this image out of my head till this day of when Suzy Q had all those things coming out of her and she almost died. That really like creeped me out and it was really kind of disgusting. <laughs> it was disgusting to look at. That ain't her fault, she was an innocent little maid. That That is true, that is true. And I mean, she did show, she did show interest in my boy Joseph. I'm gonna have to agree with you. I, I think we can put her out of A. I think we can put her out of A. So I think she's above Josuke's mom. Oh, and yeah, looks for sure. alone. Yeah, for sure. And then Arina and looks. I don't know if you can tell by this picture, but it's kind of mutilated. May he collect all of his shekels in heaven. We have the boy, the greedy bastard himself, Shigichi. Now, when I first met Shigichi, I hated him because he was such a greedy bastard. And he was trying to jug Okiyasu and Josuke out their money. But he really came through in the end. And he did meet his unfortunate end. It was it was very sad. He honestly had a very painful death. Kira, Kira really did him wrong. He turned him into ash. It was sad. I remember watching that and just going fucking absolutely bonkers. <laughs> All I remember him doing is trying to open the door and he's like, Josuke! And then he just goes, Poof. But for Shigichi, man, I'm thinking neutral. Neutral? I'll put about below trash, but that's okay. 
You, you, why below trash? Nah, I'm just kidding. I love Shigechi. He redeemed himself at the end. That was very dramatic and sad. And he gets bonus points for being the only slide slash main character that actually died in part four, which made you feel like there's actually a sense of danger, which uh, that was good for the plot. So I, I, I agree. Next up, we got ball sack skin. <laughs> <laughs> just start <retro. laughs> nothing else is nothing else is to be said <laughs> her hair is built weird she was always nagging on joseph so much so that joseph had to lie to her about going to japan because he knew that she would nag a lot or be worried which is understandable but I, we gave you a tier for your younger self when the people get older they obviously win a ball sack so <laughs> it's just the way of life you come out of a ball sack you turn into a ball sack <laughs> It's a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Q, I don't know what happened to you. That rhyme. Now, looking at it, I understand why Joseph did what he did with Josuke's mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it to him. Damn. And speaking of, oh my God, but in a good way, we have the most beautiful character in all of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Dio. Dio! Dio gets the number one spot in goddess tier. Can I do that? Can I add a list? There we go. That's better. The one to rule them all. I used to hate Dio. I'm not gonna lie. I fucking hated him in part three. Especially whenever... I actually thought Joseph died. I actually thought he legitimately... Well, I mean, he did technically kill Joseph. And that pissed me off. And he killed Jonathan. And he did kill Jonathan. He was wearing Jonathan's body and then had a little fun time at night you know because my, my boy's a vampire so you know he was boofing through the night about nine months i would say <laughs> boom giorno giovanna <laughs> he gave us giorno though yeah i know mad, mad respect mad respect man and i love giorno giorno is fire and his name rhymes with DiGiorno, so you know it's hot and ready every time, ready to go. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that, that sounded oh, God. sus. I did not mean it like that. <laughs> but like, you know, he's ready to go. He'll muda muda the fuck out of your ass. He's big brain. He he's he has attributes from every Joe star, like you said. I love Dio's and Giorno's muda cry. It is so fucking dope. Can can we get can we get a muda cry? You want it right now? Right now. I might shout out your camera. Ah ha ha. Oh, you might ear rape the mic. Muda! Muda! <laughs> That's all you get. I don't even know. I don't even think there's a tear for this man. I'm gonna say it. Oh, God. The most ugly motherfucker <laughs> in this whole entire series. That's saying something. We have the broccoli head himself, <laughs> Pesci. We should make a new tear called broccoli head. Below trash. <laughs> Pesci, I liked you at first, my boy, but you really went dickhead mode. You really became an asshole. And fuck you for that, but you got what you deserved. But I'm gonna be, I'm feeling a little generous today, and we're going to straight up put Pesci in trash. I'm feeling generous. <laughs> I'm feeling generous. I'm sparing you. I am, I'm sparing this man's career. I mean, his career got ended. Buchirati unzipped him out of this world. We'll just keep it at that. Now, moving on to the last female on this list, we have Yukiko. Now, here's the thing with Yukiko. Looks wise, you know, she's pretty decent. You know, she's kind of cute, you know. She apparently likes midgets. <laughs> <laughs> she likes a lot of shrimp. And by shrimp, I'm talking about Koichi. I'm not talking about... Anyway, <laughs> Yukiko is a crazy ass bitch, man. She is legit like a yandere. Honestly, she is the first yandere in JoJo's, and I'm assuming the only one. But she did come through at the end, and, you know, her and Koichi actually got together, and the height difference is like this. <laughs> but, you know, they found love. Koichi actually found himself some love. He got some action. He, he got some action. He got a little smooch here and there. <laughs> We don't know if it led to anything else. But here's my thoughts on Yukiko. Yes, she made my boy Koichi a happy man. The way when she was going crazy bitch mode reminded me of a lot of personal experiences. <laughs> and for that, mm, her looks are saving her. Put that bitch at C. Oh yeah, her hair, especially when it got like destroyed or burnt off or whatever. Yeah. She, ugh, <laughs> God damn. If that picture were on here, that bitch would be in trash. <laughs> but like I said, I'm feeling generous. So she's gonna go to C because she is making my boy Koichi happy. But deep down, she's a crazy bitch. And she only calmed down when Koichi actually started dating her. 
Like, imagine if Koichi didn't date her. She did go to certain lengths to get with him. She kidnapped him. She kidnapped him? She used Cinderella's stand to make her, like, attractive to Koichi. And that just caused a whole lot of damn problems. But they ended up falling in love somehow. And that's just another bizarre adventure in itself. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy the women of jojo's bizarre adventure if you guys did enjoy don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and if you do want to see more content like this where we rank other jojo's waifus because there are plenty of more waifus let me know in the comments down below because i would definitely be down to make another one because this was actually pretty funny and entertaining go check out my boy hasten but i'll see you guys later peace peace